I think there is a huge shift that needs to happen in people's expectations of building an online business and making hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars. And it's challenging, right? Because on one hand, it is very possible. I am evidence of that. I bought Ty Lopez's SMMA course back in 2016, and I didn't really have, I had some Photoshop skills, but certainly was not a marketer. And so that was like my parlay into the online business world. And since then we've built three seven figure businesses, but it is certainly not easy. Nothing that is a big accomplishment is easy to do. And so it's a challenge because it's absolutely, I, I believe the easiest way to get rich is to have an online business, but that doesn't mean it's easy. It's like the easiest path to being an astronaut. It's just like, well, it's probably pretty fucking hard no matter how you approach it. So there's probably routes that are easier than others and harder than others. But uh, at the end of the day, what you're asking for is millions of dollars and you're asking for it to be easy. And I want to let you know, at least from my perspective, what I've seen after working with thousands of online business owners, like actually thousands, we've sold somewhere between five and 7,000 courses. We've had over a thousand high ticket clients and I've seen a thing or two. I'm not the end all be all, but I've seen a thing or two. And that is people's really want, it's like they're four years old trying to be LeBron James in the NBA. And they're like, I want to do it in a year by the time I'm five years old. And when you tell them that's unrealistic, they get angry and say, no, it's not. I'm going to go find a better coach or teacher or system or tactic or strategy. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I mean, like I, if you find a way, you let me know. I, I hope you do sincerely. I've been looking all these books back here. About 75% of those have been read. And that is only a fraction of what I've invested in myself to try to find the fastest, simplest ways to get everything that I want in life. And still it has taken eight to 14 hour days for six years in a row. And I feel as though I'm just now starting to understand the game and that's making many millions of dollars. And so I hope that somehow if your expectations are that you're going to start a side hustle and make a million dollars in the next year or something like that. I don't want to be demotivating, but I also know that it's more demotivating to have your expectations set as a four-year-old to, I'm going to be in the NBA and be LeBron James by age five and then have it not happen. That's more demotivating than understanding that the real game is just set your expectations that it's going to be a 10-year, it's going to be a 10-year deal. It just is. And that's if you're pretty good five years to really make in your, I think uh, Michael Masterson has a book, I think it's like seven years to seven figures. It's, I would say that's pretty accurate, five to 10 years. And so your expectations of I'm going to do something monumental that requires an incredible amount of skill sets, incredible. It's the list of skill sets is incredible. You market research, video, advertising, sales in itself. People spend their lifetimes mastering each one of those people spend lifetimes mastering, hiring, choosing using people, financial management, cash flow management, tax strategies, social media, content, influence, persuasion, list goes on and on. And so to think that you're somehow going to build an online business with no skill sets whatsoever outside of maybe you have some sort of core skill that you've either had a job or you're, you've helped people produce some kind of result. That's awesome. You have like 2% of what's required to be, to probably be at the level of success that you're desiring. And I say 2% as a, it's actually like you have 98% left to go. And it's like, you got the easy part. You know what I mean? Like now you've got to structure everything and learn all those skill sets. So I'm just saying you need to dramatically change your perspective, in my opinion, if you're going to get to where you want to go. Maybe you will be a miracle worker and manifest everything in five minutes or five months or five weeks. That, that would be incredibly fast. I consider myself pretty able and it took me two years to make my first million dollars. And since then there's been many more millions. But from the time I started, I think my first $10,000 month was nine months after I decided that I'm going to commit to doing this. And even then, like it was it fluctuated. Like I had no idea what I was doing. I still, to this day, like to a large degree, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I learn stuff constantly. And so I hear people with their crazy expectations and I just, I, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news or Captain Demotivator, but you really just have to change your expectations. Just something as simple as how you ask questions. I can tell pretty much where you're at in your business 
career by the way that you ask questions. Many people who don't know what they're doing, here's the telltale sign. They type at least two paragraphs plus, sometimes up to 10, just like just big chunks of text. They clearly don't understand copywriting. They don't know how to break things up and to make it easier to easy to read for the consumer. So I already know that's what they're bringing to their advertising as well, if they're even doing any of that. I know that's what they're bringing to their social media content, again, if they're even doing any of that. So if that's how they're asking me a question, like in one of our communities, I already know, first of all, that's not even a question, but I also know that like pretty much where they're at, regardless of what their bio says or what they claim. I know that if you're writing 10 paragraphs of random backstory shit, and then not even asking a question, but just putting a question mark at the end of 10 paragraphs without a, what do you think? What would you do if you were me? Nothing, no call to action. There's just, it's obvious that there's a huge departure between what you want and where you are. And so that same person who asks a question like that, the question that they should be asking, first of all, is how should I ask questions? And that's why I've made this video right here. So make sure you go and watch that right now and I'll see you there because I don't want you to be the 10 paragraph person. Just don't be that person. Click this button right here, watch this video right now and learn how to ask questions like an intelligent individual.